This is another session of Difference Maker Mentoring with Corey Harris. And hey, I'm glad that you guys came out. And hey, next time I hope you bring some of your friends with you. And we could we could make this thing grow. Uh, I love getting out speaking to the youth. I love giving back to my own community, uh, to the, the streets that I come from. It's, it's very special for me to reach out to you guys. I feel like this is one of the things that I'm supposed to do. So therefore I just continue to look for different opportunities and try to create different ways that I can speak in front of the youth. Uh, I know that's very important at a young age to have someone that you can see that's doing something positive. I know that it's very young to, uh, to hear something positive from someone that you could be around or that you could, you know, you could actually see them physically other than just seeing somebody on TV do something. It's way different when you're actually right there, and especially then in your own community. So therefore, <clears throat> I just, once again, love reaching, to, reaching out to them. I am a published author. I am a registered nurse. I am a mentor. I am a motivational speaker. So I do a great deal. I do a great deal of different things, and uh, I don't say that just to let you know what I do. I say that because I want you to realize that you know it's, it's not a good thing to limit yourself just to one thing. You know, it's, it's good to to have something that you're shooting for, but at the same time, don't just have a closed mind to where you say, oh, if I'm doing this one thing, that means I can't try to do something else. My thing is just make sure it's something positive. Don't just try to do anything just because you see other people doing things. Like, you have your own mind, which that's what you have. You have your own mind. You have your own uniqueness. You have your own vision, your own desires, you should have all of that. So it, it really doesn't come down to, to so much what other people want for you. It comes down to what you want for yourself. That's why it's so great to discover what you want to do in life. And, and, and as a matter of fact, what's, what's, what's really important is not just to discover what you want to go after in life, but that purpose behind why you want to go after what you want to go after in life. Because the stronger your purpose as to why you really want to do something, it really betters your chances of even accomplishing that goal of getting to where you want to get. You know, uh, one of the prime examples I love using when I go to different schools to speak to kids is the fact that it's very easy to, to show up to school. It's very easy to get dressed. It's very easy to get on the bus or it's very easy to have your parents drop you off at school and go see your class. It's very easy. And it's very easy to uh, be at home if, if you're getting homeschooled. It's very easy to show up to school. But What's really something that determines uh, how good or how great you're going to be in life is what's your purpose for going to school? That's what really matters. Now, if you go to school to, to gossip about uh, what kind of clothes your friends wear, what name brands your, your friends wear, what type of shoes your friends have on, what type of things somebody else's parents have that your parents don't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if that's why you go to school, your purpose is just not so good. Therefore, you, you're not gonna even be so tuned in to what the teachers are saying because you, your, your focus is different. You, you're more concerned about 
stuff that really don't matter. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you better your purpose, or if you have a better purpose for why you're doing something, you, you go about it in a totally different way. You know, you go about it in a totally different way. Your purpose matters so much. So anybody can show up to school, but have, have that purpose as to why you go to school. And some of those purposes should be, while I'm at school, I'm going to do something and get something out of this day that could better my chances of being successful the next day. Or I'm going to get something out of today while I'm at school that could just maybe help me through that next obstacle that I may face in life. You know, that's how you got to go about, or that's how you should go about your day when you're actually at school. You don't... You don't go to school just to say, oh, I went to school. I, I spent my time in this class. Let me move to the next class. And let me, you know, no, you don't just, you don't want to just be the type of person that just go through the motions. It's easy to go through the motions. But what are you doing as you go through the motions? That's what really counts. That's what really counts. A lot of people go to school, but not everybody go to school to get a better mindset. Not everybody go to school to uh, brighten their future. Some people just go to school to clown. Some people just go to school to talk about other people. Some people just go to school just to make other people, uh, just, some people go to school just to distract other people. <laughs> you know, like if somebody see you doing good, and they, they know that they're not doing good and they don't plan on doing good. They just want you to come along and say, oh, well, why don't you come chill with me and come come do the bad stuff I'm doing so we can hang together. That's that's how it goes. I mean, that's, that's really how it goes. I don't know if, if you see it that way, but that, it goes like that a lot. And, and see, right now, right now, I'm going to point something out that... I have to point out because you're young and I want you to remember this, but Candace's son, you, you have to, you have to leave, leave your phone alone. Don't mess with your phone while I'm talking. I know what you're doing. I, I, I've been young before. You look at you, look, you messing with your phone while I'm talking. That, that's disrespectful. So put your phone in your pocket. And listen to what's going on. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have a purpose. Like, like, don't just come sit down and say, I came to listen to a speech. Because really, you, you're not listening. You, you doing, you doing something else. You doing something else. Therefore, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't. And see, that's what that's why so many things have gotten out of hand. Because we let so much just slide. We let so much uh just go and we don't say much about it. But but guess what? I could have easily just sit here and the whole time just say, oh, oh, no, no, uh, I'm not going to tell him that. I'm not going to tell him that. But guess what? Why should I do that? Because my whole purpose is to make a difference in your life. So just me telling you to listen while you're here, just me telling you to stop messing with your phone, just me telling you that right now, guess what? Five, ten years down the road, just me telling you that today, that's going to help you in another situation that I know is going to help. So that's what I'm telling you. Like, don't, don't mess with your phone. That's, that's disrespectful of somebody trying to tell you something that could help you in life and you playing with your phone. You could play games all the rest of the day, which that's probably what you do. I don't know. But right now, that ain't, that ain't why we're here. We're not here to play on the phone. We're not here to text nobody. None of that stuff. That ain't what we're here for. That's what I'm saying. When you go somewhere, go with the right purpose. Go with the right purpose, and it's going to help you out in life. All right, so we passed that. Um, perseverance. Perseverance. Perseverance is a term that is going to, to help you. The more you could... Stay connected to it. Perseverance is, is that thing that so many of the greats, they have it. And some people, some people have it, some people don't. Some people give up easy. 
some people give up easy because a lot of times it's because the, the people around them give up easy. So that's all they know is to give up easy. But, all right, Black History Month is coming up, okay? Usually what happens in Black History Month a lot, uh, a lot of people go to black history programs where uh, some iconic figures uh, in black history are pointed out. And then we tell stories about those iconic figures, whether it's whether it's uh, people who uh, have passed along, who has, you know, people who are deceased, or whether it's actually people who actually are living right now. We usually talk about some iconic figures during Black History Month. And actually, what people, I don't think what people really realize a lot of times, or don't think about it in this way, those different people that, that's mentioned at these different black history programs, they all for sure have this, this, this quality of perseverance that many people just don't have. And I'm going to give you a couple examples. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I know y'all heard his name before. I know you've heard his name. I know you've heard stories or maybe even seen footage of, of what he did and how he did it years and years ago. Uh, with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he had to have perseverance or he wouldn't have been able to do and accomplish as much as he did. I mean, you have to persevere in life. Or, or you should want to persevere in life if you wanna, if you really wanna to push or tap into your greatness in life. You have to be that kind of person. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He had so many struggles he got, had to go through. So many struggles to, to help his people. So many different things he had to go through to, to really better our lives today. Like a lot of stuff that he did like way long time ago before you or ever even thought of. A lot of stuff he did it, it, it really benefits us today, believe it or not. So, but for him to do and to, 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 to do all the different things that he did, he had to get knocked down time after time. And, and he realized that every time he was knocked down, he said, okay, that just made me stronger to get up the next time. You know, no matter how many times somebody told him, no, y'all can't do that, or no, you'll never do that. He kept marching on. He kept marching on, whether it was in one state, whether it was in two states, whether that's what I'm saying. He 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 did what he had to do or what he felt he had to do to make a difference. And a whole lot of that comes right back to perseverance. You have to, you have to be the type of person that When battles come your way, because that's life, that's life. When battles come your way, you have to be the type of person that doesn't just give in to the battle. You're going to have conflict, you're going to have battles, you're going to have struggles, you're going to have problems. You're going to have times when you look like just nothing going right for you. You're going to have that. Sometimes you're going to have tragedies happening in life. You're going you're gonna to have, put it like this, you're going to have a lot of stuff that at some point you're going to encounter that you really, you really going to, you're going to start doubting a lot of things. Just, man, why this had to happen to me? Man, why I had to, why I had to be this? Why I couldn't be him? I'm doing real good, so I don't understand why I'm doing real good and something bad going to happen to me or my family. On the other hand, they're doing 
all kind of illegal stuff over here, and ain't nothing happening to them. They they doing great. You gonna have different things that make you believe or, or doubt certain things about yourself. So persevere through the struggles. Hang in there through the struggles. Pick each other up through the struggles. Help each other. Help each other out. Help each other out. Don't, don't be the type of people or the type of person that always try to uh, talk about somebody or try to hurt somebody. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't be those, like, be, be different. Be different. It's enough people out there that's, that's hurting other people. It's enough people out there that's just doing a whole lot of different things that ain't so good or that they're not so good. It's enough of that. Be different. Like, like shift that. Shift that pattern. Shift that paradigm. Switch that stuff. And do something different. Do something different because, I mean, it's one of the best things you could do. One of the best things you could do in life is to do something different from what the crowd is doing, believe it or not. The crowd ain't what the father most of the time. The, the crowd is, is something that can lead you to some places that you really don't want to go. That's what the crowd is about. I mentioned Dr. Martin Luther King with perseverance. Another iconic figure, Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. I mean, you have to know that she had perseverance because, I mean, look at look at how long this lady has been in the spotlight. Look at how long she's been. I'm talking about like real big spotlight too, and how how much just over the years she's grown and grown and grown. That's 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 a whole lot of perseverance. That's a whole lot of perseverance. First of all. Have you ever, have you ever seen a, a TV show like that came on every day during the week where a, a black woman was hosting it and it was something that lasted for years and years and years and years? I mean, that, that's the only one I know that, that sh her show and her network and all of that stuff is it, 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 just steadily, it's just steadily climbing. And she, she branched out in so many different ways that they can't even keep track of it. You know, uh, perseverance. Of course she had people. Of course she had people that told her she could never have a show. Of course she had people that told her, no, I don't think you could be in movies. Of course she had people that say, well, I think you ought to keep doing the Oprah show and not worry so much about getting your own network, the own network. Of course she had people to say that. But what I'm telling you is when you have a purpose as to why you want to do something, you really, you're really not going to be so concerned with what other people tell you you cannot do. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be so concerned with that. You're going to be more concerned with, with what you got to do to get to where you're trying to get. That's what you're going to be more worried about. So. That's another iconic figure that she had to have perseverance to get to where she's at today. And, and don't look like she's planning on stopping no time soon at, at just doing good and great things. So, so when you when you when you watching TV or when you hearing about some of these iconic figures, don't just don't just hear about them and and, and don't try to take nothing from it. You know, like like know that that's, that stuff matters. That stuff matters. Like that's that's some that's some examples that's right there in front of your face to tell you. Guess what? You got a lot of other things you could be shooting for. You know, President Barack Obama. Come on, that's another iconic figure. You think you think he was never told that he can't be president? Like you you really think that everywhere he went, everybody shook his hand and said, "Oh, all right, you gonna be the next president." That didn't happen. 
That's what I'm trying to tell you. Just because, I don't care if you walk in the room and, and everybody in the room look at you funny and say, oh, he ain't going to be nothing. She ain't going to be nothing. So what? That, that ain't, they, they, they're not the ones that's going to take you the way you want to go. They're not the ones that got to get there and do the work. They're not the ones who going to put in the hours for you to get to where you want to go. So all I'm telling you is you got to persevere in life to get to where you want to go. You got to be able to get back up. You got to be able to take the negativity. You got to be able to take the slaps in the face. You got to be able to, to get the door slammed in your face sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to be able to to just be strong and be like, "Okay, guess what? I'm going to get back up and keep going." You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, look here like, "Okay, I, I know some of y'all like basketball and football." All right. When you watch football and basketball, I mean, all right, you you have you have certain players you like, right? Or certain teams you like. Okay. Just say, I'm right, who, who like who like LeBron James in here? Somebody I already know. Okay. I know some people don't like him, and some people do. Just like some people might like KD more than they like Kobe. I, mean, I know that. That's 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 just what we do. We have certain things we really like. And certain things that people we don't really like. That's just what we do. But what I'm getting at with the greats, man, and that's one of the greats, LeBron is one of the greats. With the greats. You don't see LeBron. I'm, I'm talking about he could have had a real bad game. Which a real bad game to him is, is somebody else a real good game, to tell you the truth. But what I'm getting at, when he had a bad game, whether it was he didn't shoot so good, whether he didn't play defense so good, whether he got tired real fast, you know, whether he feel like he didn't do enough to help his team win. Whether, whatever, whatever that thing is that, that he just didn't have a good game, what I'm going to get next, he keep coming back. He keep showing up. He keep going to practice. He keep getting on the flight to go to the next game. He keep getting endorsements. He keep going to speak to kids. He keep, that's what I'm saying, he, he ain't stopping. He ain't stopping. Now, the report, if a reporter say, oh, I think LeBron James falling off, I, I, think, I think he need to think about return. All that do make him go harder in practice. All that do think, make him think, oh, what else I can do to better my game? You got you to be the same way in life. It ain't, it ain't just about the basketball game. It's about what else you can do in life on a daily basis to better you and your life and the people around you. That's what it's about. It ain't about seeing, you know, who could. I mean, all right, when you, when you say football, I mean, hey, they get knocked down and they get back up, they go to the sideline, they fuss that by the, you know, but the coach fuss at them, the teammates fuss at them. The real grace, man, they shake that off quick, though. They ain't about to just have a bad game and let the reporter talk about them bad and the next game they're going to do worse and the next game they're going to do worse and the next game they're going to do worse. If anything, that'd be that thing that just drives them to do better. That's how you got to be in life. And actually, actually, if you really want to know a little negativity or a little something to come your way every now and then that tells you that you can't do something, you ought to be glad that come your way. And the reason why I say that is because if everybody was to always tell you you're doing good, if everybody made you think you're always doing great things, what could easily happen, what could easily happen is you get comfortable with that. You get so comfortable with that to where you don't even put in the work to better yourself. You get too comfortable with that. So what I'm getting at, even if somebody 
sort of makes you feel like, man, I, I, I don't feel so good about myself. I don't believe in myself. Don't, don't take it that way. Take it as something that's going to make you stronger. Take it as something that's going to make you stronger. Remember to persevere in life, man. Remember to bounce back. Remember to strap your shoelaces up and, and get back at it. You know? Steve Harvey. Another iconic figure, man. This man been around a long time doing his thing. And one of the reasons I respect him so much is because, once again, he, he persevered. He persevered. First of all, a lot of y'all don't even know this. First of all, believe it or not, Steve Harvey used to be homeless at one point. Steve Harvey used to be homeless. Yeah, I know I see you making faces. That, that's what I'm saying. This man used to be homeless. That's what I'm saying. Like you got that's what I'm saying. Try to sometimes when you see these people, try to dig, try to dig into what where they come from. Try to dig into where they come from and you'll better understand why they're so powerful at what they do. This man used to be homeless, and then okay, after that, eventually most people just knew Steve Harvey as a comedian. He gonna make people laugh. Okay, but I can tell you right now, the way he persevered in life, he's doing things now that I know 20 years ago he never thought he would be doing it because he had an open mind. And he just kept grinding, and he just kept working, he just kept, he, he just kept doing what he loved to do, but at the same time, he didn't limit himself to just one thing. He's a comedian, he hosts a radio show, not a, not a radio, it's his radio show. He got a radio show, he on Family Feud. You know what I'm saying? He got stuff he do there, I probably don't know what he do. But I'm just saying the stuff I know of. He on Family Feud. When I was growing up, he didn't have no black person hosting Family Feud. They didn't have, they didn't have that. They didn't have, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't, don't ever just limit yourself. Don't just put a lid on your potential. Don't put a lid on your potential and say, I know I can't do that, so I ain't even try. And don't put a lid on your potential by, by just listening to what other people tell you and what your environment tells you. Because I can tell you right now, your environment ain't telling you much. Your environment ain't telling you much about what you can do. I can I already tell you that. And I don't really be out there like talking about, but I know because I see it. Your environment is not telling you that you can do great things. But I'm here today to tell you you can do great things. But to do great things, you gotta do those good things that eventually add up to greatness. It don't just happen. It don't just happen overnight. You gotta work on it day after day after day. You gotta, you gotta get, like they say, you gotta get your mind right. It all starts in your mind. It starts right here. You know? It starts right here. And you can't, you can't be so, you can't be the type of person that that you just wait on people to tell you what to do all the time. Because the more you just wait on other people, usually you just waiting on the next time that you're gonna fail. Sometimes you just gotta be the one to start something or initiate something. You gotta be that kind of person. Nobody told me to try to get some kids here today. Nobody told me that. Nobody told me Nobody tell me to go out to schools and speak to kids.